Good morning. I'm Ron Duval, running for councilman in Ward 4. And I'd like to thank everybody for being here. It's a beautiful day out there. I hope another beautiful day like it has been. Uh, I've been on the city council since 1998. I have served on the planning and zoning committee, uh, uh, community de development and code committee, and I'm currently on the municipal <laughs> services personnel committee. I have served on the I, I serve on the solid waste district in Concordia, Missouri. Uh, our city gets grants from them to, in fact, they've got a grant pending to uh, crush rockets out at the bowl. I, uh, we're currently doing work here at the airport, renovating the, uh, the office part of it. We have our solar farm, which is a real addition to the city. I think it's a real good thing when people drive to town, they see this out there. Uh, tax money. We talk about the tax money. That is something that really is needed. And when we get that, we'll be able to go out and tear down some of these condemned houses and help Marshall look better. Uh, we've got the Fox Meadow Village out by uh, Fitzgibbon Hospital, which is a new addition to the city. And I just, uh, I agree with everything that everyone said. But, Come April the 5th, I'd appreciate your vote. Thank you. Well, good morning, everybody. Um, it's nice to see everybody here. I know it's early. It's really early for me. Um, 6.30 is not something I do often, but for a good cause, I'll be here. Kind of like fishing, right? Um, first thing, um, I'd like to just uh, give you a little bit about who I am. Um, I graduated from Marshall High School here. I went to uh, college to become a uh, structural detailer. Pretty much I ran AutoCAD and worked for Course Lab Structures here in Marshall for almost eight years, drawing uh, any type of structural building, parking garage, whatever it may be. Um, through there, I learned a lot of just how things are built and uh, go together. Um, I got married, had two kids, um, seven and 10, soon to be eight and 10. Uh, both my kids are very active in the community play all sorts of sports, rest, I mean, we're, we're always doing something. So me personally, I'm very involved in the community on that aspect. I do coach soccer. So I deal with a lot of kids, a lot of people all the time. I'm used to that. That's where I feel at home, dealing with people on a daily basis. Um, I now work at Fitzgibbon Hospital. I am the plan manager there. Um, my day-to-day -day problem is problem solving. Uh, things break, things fall apart, people need things fixed, that's me. And uh, without that, I think I feel empty. Um, I feel, it makes me feel better to, feel, to be needed. Um, that's where I think the, the city council position would, is very fulfilling for me and for the community. I like to listen to people. I like to talk to people. I, I'm very approachable. Um, so when there's an issue, I feel like I would be very easy to walk up to and say, hey, I've got a problem. I'm going to listen to you. No problem. Any time of day, anywhere, it doesn't matter. It'll happen. Um, a few things that I like to talk about that really hit home to me is I am very vested in this community. I'm very vested here. I don't plan on leaving. I left the Kansas City for a little while, Fort Worth Lab, and I missed home. Home is Marshall. So I came back. Um, one of the things that bothered me and I see from time to time is there seems to be a loss of, of city pride around town. People that just, it, it, it's Marshall, you know. I, that, that, that hits me in a bad spot. I don't like that. I want to try to increase city pride and, and bring people up to, it's Marshall, you know, let's have pride in our community. Let's, let's do things as a community. Let's, let's get together and, and, and work together to solve the problems that everybody sees from day to day. Um, through that, I think, well, with a, a lot of what Kirk said, the transparency deal, um, I, sometimes I feel uh, that I hear that there's some mistrust. Well, if we are transparent and we put things out there to where there's no questions of what's being done, there's no questions of what we're doing, I feel you'll get more involvement from the community and be more apt to help us when we uh, come up with an issue, when we face an issue that needs taken care of. Um, that's my biggest thing is the city pride. I wanted everybody to be uh, happy and work together. 
Um, it takes a team to get things done, I feel, and um, that's one of the ways I think we can do this. Uh, the other thing is uh, middle class housing. I've heard that there's been you know, several opportunities or things that we could look at to try to get some middle, house, middle class housing put up. I know not too long ago I was shopping for a house and my options were either something I was going to have to put a bunch of work into or something out of my, uh, my out of range. I couldn't do it. So some middle class housing I think would help. There's a lot of companies in town that have people, Cargill, Conagra, uh, Course Lab, the hospital, that need somewhere to live and they're living out of town. Let's try to work to accommodate these people, to accommodate, to help those businesses bring people to town. Um, through that, I think we could grow together and make this town what it is. Um, I'd like to thank everybody for coming, and uh, I ask for your vote on April 5th, along with Kirk, Ron, and Will Danny.